the research we published in QJ um, represents uh, a 20 year pattern that I have been trying to establish. And, and that is that male elephants use uh, vocalizations to coordinate action. And, and why that is important is because we know that females, uh, matriarchs use a let's go rumble to let everyone know that it's time to leave and she'll orient in a certain way and then everyone responds to her and follows her out. That's that's something that's, you know, you can go to any water hole if you're lucky enough to go to Africa and watch them and this will happen. But what wasn't known is that males do the same thing and males within bonded groups that they, um, a lead male will initiate, they'll give a let's go rumble, and then the others in the group will respond in a very coordinated way. And that's, um, that's basically the summary of the results. The most significant thing that we found in these results is that these uh, dominant males, the lead male, will actually invite uh, other males and, and often younger males to leave with him. And what, what that implies is that he's willing to share resources with them. And so um, we're showing that this in fact exists. And then of course you have all of these follow-up questions like, well, why do they do that? And, and why would they be willing to share? And that's kind of our, our next question. But what we show is that um, males use a vocal ritual in, in a highly coordinated way. So the, the, the first male says, okay, it's time to go. And then what happens is he this vocalization triggers a whole series of vocalizations that one will respond and then the next one waits till the first one finishes their, their call and then the next one and then the next one. So it's like a, a conversation where they don't, it's not a chorus where they all trigger a response. It's that they wait, they have kind of a, a conversation about leaving. And sometimes it takes a long time to have this conversation. It's kind of like um, male elephants are like ants, you know, they're very slow and they very appear to be very thoughtful in their approach. And, and so the significance of this research is that male elephants um, organize themselves into bonded groups and they use tools to coordinate themselves. And in this case, they use a vocalization called a let's go vocalization. The main thing I'm hoping people will take from this research is that male elephants, um, they're very social and they have these really close knit group of friends that, that they stay with for many, many years and, and maybe even for life after they leave their families, you know, they, they leave the family from between 12 and 15 years of age and then they go out into the bull world and they have to look for buddies and they have to look for new relationships. And if you can imagine growing up in a very social situation uh, for your whole youth, you don't want to be by yourself. You're a social animal. And so um, this, this paper really shows that males look to, to be together and they use tools to, to coordinate um, the group and that these older males actually are inviting the younger males to come with them. And, and that's really important in male society because these young males, again, they need to have uh, relationships coming out of the family. And uh, one thing I, I, I have, we're starting to edit some of the footage that we took and I wanna show you this. It really looks like an emotional situation where this young male is exploring the face of an older bull and the, and the older uh, male is very patient with him. He's letting him touch all over his face. And they, you can just uh, imagine what this young male is thinking. Well, you want to know what he's thinking. You know, he closes his eye and he's just exploring very delicately with his trunk. This is the young male here and there's another young male behind. And then this is, is the older male. So here's the young male, another young male over here, and the older male here, his name is Shaka, is allowing this young male to explore his face and he's letting him hang his, his trunk over his tusk. 
and he's kind of got his eyes closed, like he's dozing on his mentor's lap sort of thing. I mean, it's, it's really, it's so touching to watch how, how sensitive these interactions are. These young males are so tactile and they, they really need to find older males that will tolerate this kind of exploration. And, and this is a, an example of how the older male, and this particular male is a very important male to the, to, to the younger um, males in the population. He will invite them with this let's go rumble to follow him. And it's almost like when the young males are following him, they've got a little pep in their stride, you know, so proud to be able to follow their mentor. Because if they try and follow another older male who is not inclined to mentor, the older male will turn around and shake his head at the young bull and say, no, 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 you're not following me, you know, get lost. But this guy will invite them. You see, he just spends all of this time exploring and now he's gonna hang his trunk on the other side. And then this other young male just places his trunk in the older bull's mouth. So this older male is letting these young bulls interact with him in a very, I wanna say intimate way and then at the end of this interaction, the older male will invite them to follow him. And this is just not something that's been documented before. And I'm really hoping that people, um, that it really strikes people that how important it is for these young males to be social and to have these mentors in their society.